Hello and thanks for checking out this video series on HTML for beginners. Now in this video series on beginning HTML we're going to be introducing you to the computer language called Hypertext Markup Language aka HTML. This is just like any other foreign language, or for me anyway, it has the basics you can learn to barely get by, as well as more complex parts of the HTML or the language that can result in creating some pretty awesome web pages. When I first started learning HTML, I learned enough for me to get by, uh, enough to get around the coding of websites. You know, with that knowledge, I started understanding the various tags and codes that others were using in their web pages that made different things happen. For example, uh, what made this thing flash off and on? Uh, what made this lettering bold and bigger over here, but not over there? You know, what made this line up in the center of the page and everything else on the left of it? Uh, you know, things like that. Now, a couple of things you are going to need in addition to these videos. One is a browser. Now, most likely you're watching this video through a browser right now. So, see, we already have one thing out of the way. See how easy this is? And two, you're going to need a notepad. And I'm not talking about the pen and paper type that's on your desk. I'm talking about your Windows notepad or a basic, simple text editor. Now, for those of you that have Dreamweaver and Front Page or Composer or NVU or Coffee Cup or some other type of HTML editor or what they call a WYSIWYG, what you see is what you get, uh, well, good for you. Now, put them away and get out your Windows Notepad. Now, in case you didn't know, your Notepad is located on your, well, if it's not on your desktop, it's in your Start menu. Let me show you real quick here. If you go to your Start menu... Go to All Programs, and come up here to Accessories. There's your notepad. Now, I'm using Windows XP, so if you're on some other type of operating system, then yours may be located somewhere a little bit differently, but this is the basics. Now, one thing you can do, or at least it's what I do anyway, because I don't like to go through this process each time just to get my Windows notepad, is I can go and click on right-click on my mouse on my desktop anywhere on the desktop go to new and sometimes it's going to be right in here now what I do instead of that is so that I don't have to do that it's just right here on my desktop is as this little arrow points out this is a shortcut to my notepad you can do that by going to right clicking on your desktop go to new and then left click on shortcut and then you just browse your computer for the notepad and again I'm using Windows XP so what I would do is go to uh, click on browse go to my computer and which drive am I on here go to C go to Windows scroll all the way down and it's in alphabetical order so you go to notepad click on that well there you have it. Click on next, and then it'll put you put it on your desktop. Actually, right here under short new shortcut. And if you want to rename it or whatever, but as you can see, it's got the number two there because I've already got one here. Boom. Okay, go away. Anyway, that's how you can get the shortcut on your uh, for the notepad on your desktop. And then you just show it off to the site. But anyway, I'm kind of getting off topic. But that's what we're going to be using for the most part in this video series. Because, yeah, it's cool to know how to use the Dreamweavers and the front pages and the like, which, by the by, we're going to get into in the next video series. So just, you know, hold your horses. But it's also better, I think, if you know the basics, you know, and we're going to get those basics by using Notepad instead of having a software program do all that coding and stuff for us. And those are pretty cool, but again, I'm getting off top. Now, when I first started creating my own web pages, I would enter some of these codes that I was seeing on other people's websites. And of course, in the beginning, um, my sites look like crap, and frankly, some of them still do. But as I repeated this process over and over, well, I began to remember that this piece of code does this, and that piece of code does that. So remember, how do you get to Carnegie Hall, and what the heck does Carnegie Hall have to do with HTML? Well, it's practice, practice, practice. So how do you get from knowing zero or close to zero about HTML to being able to create award-winning websites in your sleep? Practice, practice, practice. So just like anything else in life, the more you put into something, the more you're going to get in return. 
Now, by the end of this video series, you're going to have the basics of HTML mastered to the point that you will be able to construct your own web pages. And by repeating these processes and continuing your learning of HTML, well, you're going to be able to create website masterpieces that will be the envy of those who visit them. Let's get on to the next video in this series.